Hi everyone, Lisa here from Down to Earth Gardening and it is dahlia planting time. Um, I usually wait until Memorial Day and even a little bit after to plant my dahlia tubers because I'm really waiting for the soil to warm up. So today's video is on how I'm going to plant my dahlias and protect them from the voles. So you all know I love to talk gardening, um, but I also do want to share with you the trials and tribulations that I've experienced in hopes that it will help all of you at home. Um, I know it can be frustrating sometimes when pests and rodents and diseases get to our plants and vegetables, and it happens to all of us. So I don't want you to get frustrated. Um, we're just all going to move through it together and I'm gonna try some things and then I'm gonna share with you how they worked or how they didn't work. So I live in the woods here and I do have a lot of issues with voles. So voles are a little different than moles in that voles are vegetarians and moles are meat eaters. So the voles are really a gardener's enemy because they are looking to eat your roots and tubers. And last year I had a heck of a time with my dahlias. So frustrating, they tunnel underground, they eat the tubers, come out in the morning and the plant is toppled over and dead. And so that is so frustrating. I love my dahlias and they are quite an investment and I really look forward to um, seeing the flowers and cutting some pretty bouquets. So this year, what I'm going to be doing is planting them in these containers and I am cutting the bottoms out. So really good use of my little nursery containers because I'm recycling them. But I'm not gonna make it easy for the voles to get to the tubers. So each tuber is going to go into one container and this is a two and a half um, quart size container, which is a really good size. You probably could go a little bit bigger as well. But if you don't have some containers around, the other option is um, these recycled yogurt, yogurt containers. And then I have some different sizes that I'm going to try depending on how big some of the tubers are. So um, I've cut open this bag, so I do have a new shipment. I'm taking my tubers out of storage, but I also am adding some new in the mix, which I'm really excited about. And this variety here is called Dahlia Old Rose Mix. So it's gonna be various heights and some mixed color blooms. But I opened the bag because I wanted to check the health of the tuber. And I do want to make sure before I get out in the garden and get all my gardening gear out that this setup is going to work. So fits perfectly. So because I love to talk about flowers, I'm unboxing my dahlias and I do want to share with you what I'm going to be planting this year. So just in case you want to plant these at home. So this shipment is from Eden Brothers, a company that I really like. Um, and this package here is called Dahlia Labyrinth. So this is going to be uh, peach blooms. Height is 36 to 48 inches, which is pretty typical. And um, as I mentioned, I have the old rose mix here. So another labyrinth. And okay, I've got Bishop of Canterbury. So this is going to be a cherry plum. So 30 to 36 inches tall. And let's see what else we have here. Uh, okay, we have Dahlia Totally Tangerine which is 36 inches and a really bright orange. It's so funny, I always feel like it's Christmas when my plants come. Then I've got Dahlia Tyrell up to 40 inches and the color is orange and yellow. Um, 
another totally tangerine. And we have Bell of Barmera. So up to 72 inches, definitely going towards the back of the garden. And the color is two-toned salmon and coral. So that sounds really pretty. So I'm trying some different varieties this year. Um, as I said, the voles got to quite a few of my tubers last year. So, I mean, I really needed to shop and spend some money on flowers and get some new ones in the mix. And last but not least, a coupon for 20% off my next order. <laughs> so this will be well used. Okay, so I'm gonna do some more prep here. And I've got my containers and all I'm doing is I've just got my scissors here and I'm just snipping the bottoms out completely. I'm guessing because they have so many holes in the bottom of these containers, you probably could leave them, um, leave them be. But I just want to make sure that the dahlias are well drained, um, that they're not going to be sitting in water. So I'm cutting the entire bottom out here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a stack of these. But I also wanna mention that it's important to tag your flowers. I like to track um, what I'm planting where, and I also like to put the date on things because I like to track what works and what doesn't so then I can put on my calendar um, my dates and such for next year. I'm out in the garden and you may remember my boulder wall project um, which is fantastic because I have a blank slate lots of room out here for a garden so stay tuned but I'm going to put the dahlias towards the back of the bed and we are going to have to dig a hole um, this is about eight inches in height and you do want to cover the tubers at least two inches. So I'm going to do some digging and show you exactly how I'm going to plant these. I just had some compost added to this bed here so if you um, if you'd like you might want to get some compost and add it to your your gardens when you're planting um, I just had a nice layer of uh, top dressing of compost put on this bed so this bed is ready to plant but it's a good idea for planting your dahlias to incorporate some compost into the soil all right let's just see if this fits here Looks good. So if you'll remember from my previous Dahlia video, you want to do the feet down, pointing down, and you want to do the old stem, and sometimes you'll see some new growth um, up. That's a good fit. Just gonna put a little soil in the bottom here.
So dahlias planted and um, for the next step I'm probably just going to add some pea stone or some gravel on the top and it, that way it'll make it tougher for the voles to dig from the top down as well. So the name of the game is to deter them by making their lives more difficult um, and to save the dahlias. So thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate all of you and I love doing these videos for you. I will keep you posted on the Dahlia progress. Please tap like if you like the video and hit subscribe for lots more gardening videos in the future.